Hey everyone, and welcome back to more Warhammer Underworlds. I'm Disturbing Puppet, so today we're going to be taking out the Briar Queen Warband here, playing the next Warband as we're kind of running through all of them, and that is going to be Eyes of the Nine, which is actually kind of an interesting little zinch force. They've got some range stuff, they've got some demons, they've got some basic fighter type guys. Alright, uh, you can go ahead and choose first, I'm fine with that. That lets me kind of decide how we want to connect everything up. Uh, I will go with Mirror Well, that's fine. And... Hmm. So you have it that way. I would kind of like you to go the other way, maybe? Is that something we can do? I think it would just move my whole thing over. I want to rotate you, actually, but, um... I haven't actually really messed with moving these around much. Um, doesn't seem like it wants to do anything. Drag to move. Well, clicking and dragging doesn't do anything. <laughs> Just clicking does nothing. Clicking down here does nothing. I can rotate it, sure. I can't rotate you. Okay, I can move it like that. I want to move it... There we go. Like this, then rotate. That's what I want. It's going to put me in kind of a weird position, but it gets us a little closer to the enemy. Yeah, weird. Okay, so it's going to reorient itself. Sure. Uh, as far as objectives go, we're fine. Just grab whatever. Objectives don't really matter to me. Lethal Hex tiles also do not matter to me. Because we're ghosts, and we can just kind of hover above them, and they can't affect us. Okay, what did we get? Score this in the third end phase if all your fighters are in opponent's territory. Score this immediately if three or more fighters successfully make an attack action in a phase. Can be a problem because it is successfully attack. It's not just attack, but successfully attack. Score this immediately if your warband makes a reaction. What do we have? We've got upgrade, upgrade. We have all upgrades. Okay, that is not a great starting hand, actually. We kind of want a mix of stuff. Let's redraw the hand. It does ditch all those upgrades, though, I think. So I think they're gone, which is unfortunate, but we kind of need a mix of stuff. Let me take a look at what we got here. Give somebody guard. We have an upgrade to do more damage. Deploy. Attack that fails, make another attack. We have an upgrade for more damage. Nice. We have the Face of Death upgrade, which is just some like a chance of weakening somebody um, who's attacking next to a Chain Rasp. Yeah, we can kind of go with that. Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and deploy first. I do not care. I have to fill out all the spots. So yeah, you've got like a Zinchian demon type guy. As I try to zoom in and it's being weird. Vortimus. So you've got some range spells, right? Yeah, Rinstaff, range of two, couple damage, bolt of change, range of three. You can also summon little demons. Awesome. Okay. Uh, my toughest guy is Vaklov. Let's put Vaklov in front. Varklov. So his melee guy is putting out ahead. Kacharik. I think he only has close combat. Yeah, but he does do a lot of damage, starting at three. How do you... Okay, you're inspired by successfully cast adjacent fighter, and I think the others are when they successfully cast. Successful attack action with a range of three or more for you. Okay, yeah, so he wants to be next to somebody casting spells, all that good stuff. All right, let's get the Briar Queen in. This one could be tough. The Eyes of the Nine are actually fairly tough. They do have some weak little side guys that we could try to prioritize killing first, just to get some, um, like, upgrades going. The Everhanged over here. And we just have our basic Chain Rasps we just fill out. Yeah. 
So he does only have four guys, but he can summon little demons. So it looks like he's going to have the choice of having me go first or him. He's going to go first. He summoned a little dude. Trying to do some kind of a spell. Shield of Fate. Caster has plus one defense. Spell persists until the caster is out of action or end of round. So I think that was on... Yeah, Vortimus himself. So what can I do? Well, I can put somebody on guard. That's about it. Um, do I want to bother doing that now? Nobody's like that liable to come under attack. I think I'm just going to hold off. We'll save it for later. All right. I think we're going to go ahead and use the push chain rasps here just to move up a bunch of my other guys from the back. Because we kind of want to be swarming people. It's going to help me get attacks to actually land. We can push in here, but I don't want to go adjacent to this guy. Because then he'll just freely be able to chop away at us. Instead, we'll just kind of hang out a little bit away from him and we can go in if we want to later. Now we'll go ahead and go guard. I'll put that on the Everhanged, though. Because the regular guys are just a little too fragile. They're more likely to just die. Okay, he's going to come chopping away. Double hit, so he's toast. one defense back there on the demon. Odd choice. Okay. Most of my guys only do one, like the basic chain rasps. The Everhang can do two, Vaclef can do two, and the Briar Queen can do two. Since I've used my ability to move up here, how about... I don't know how far he can move with stuff. Um, let's go back here and we'll make a swing at your little bird dude in the back. Complete failure. Swing and a miss. Let's try that again. <laughs> okay, crit to hit. That should land. So you can die. Good deal. That'll give me enough that I can upgrade somebody. We made a reaction, so that gives us a point as well. What did we draw? Three or more fighters adjacent to the same enemy. Okay. So for upgrades, we could put the face of death on somebody. Uh, we can just go extra damage to ranged one or two attacks. I think that's the best thing to do, and we'll throw that on the Briar Queen herself. And we can actually do that twice because it's two different abilities. So now her ranged attacks will do four. I think. There's no point going for Vortimus this round because he's got that shield up. But we could probably kill this guy. Um, I do have one more action after this. Move up kind of between these two, and then we'll try to make the whip. We'll go for Kacharik here. See if we can just take him out. Did get a crit. Alright, that'll work. Four damage, very nice. So she's kind of a ranged beast now at the moment. And we can put the face of death on somebody. Is the Everhanged? Yeah, we can put it on the Everhanged, so we'll do that. 
He's not near anybody, but he's a little tougher than the other chain rasps, so he might actually be able to survive being near some enemies. Attack from the demon, I think? Yeah. Hit the Briar Queen, knocked her back. A little fireball action. Don't know if you want to make her angry, but all right. So I can't do much here. I do two damage, so we could go in and try to pick off this other weak guy in the back. So we'll give that a shot. Try to choke him out with our spectral noose. Ooh, crit to hit. That'll do it. Quick loop and jerk, and you're done. Oh, we actually made three successful attacks. Very nice. Get some more points that way, so we're doing very well in victory points in this one so far. Fighters are outnumbered, so got that one. Because we've been killing a bunch of your guys. Alright, what do I have left now? So keep drawing. Uh, well, at least one fighter in your own territory, one fighter enemy territory. Sure. Three or more fighters are adjacent to the same enemy fighter. We could do that. All your fighters are in opponent's territory at the end. Yeah, those are all fine. Because we're only on to the second round here. There's just the two of them left. And we could potentially one-shot their leader with my leader. It's a bit risky, but it is possible. I could try to just go ahead and do that right off the bat. Um, what did I get? So this stops someone from dying. Push the chain rasps, that's pretty good. Extra damage on a hit. After dying, maybe do some damage as we go down. And movement. So we did actually get those cards back, it looks like. Because I think some of those were in the upgrades that we discarded immediately. I'm going to go first. I mean, it would be nice to kind of swarm Vortimus and then try to finish him off, but he's kind of dangerous. So maybe I should just try to go for the instant kill. I mean, I can probably take a hit. Yeah, but worst case scenario, you do two damage. So I could just move a bunch of people in. So yeah, let's be crazy aggressive. We'll go for the blue horror here with you. Nothing. We're doing so well, like this was a bit much because I can't use his ability now. But we can use the Drifting Advance. So you go there. Just kind of pile in on this guy. Um, I do need to leave someone in my territory for my um, objective. So that's middle, so that's like a neutral territory. I'm going to leave you here, inside my territory, so we can still score that victory point. So what was that? Is that me? Did I score that? Upgraded Vortimus with Destiny to meet, which is what? This fighter is not out of action at the end of the third phase, gain an extra glory point. Okay. I do have an upgrade. We could put on the Briar Queen. I mean, why not? It lets me move to any starting position on a movement if I want to. It might have to be a charge. Vortimus just got some extra health, so that's going to make him a bit harder to take out. Did get a hit. It's the ranged one, though, so it's only one damage. Wait, picking on my Briar Queen there. He's going to get inspired. So he's now a bit more dangerous. So 
So this is my second action. Well, and we could send in the queen, but we could also just kind of go for a choke here to do a couple damage. Everybody else just does like one, the basic chain rasps, but I could move some of them up to support and we also want to have three adjacent. So I'm going to kind of waste an action to do that. Push you up. We'll go ahead and take a swing at him. Not that it's too likely to land, but it will have three adjacent. Got a crit, so at least do a damage. Oh, we can do a little extra too with Twist the Knife. Very nice. And I want you to stay right where you are, where we have you surrounded. Okay, our death sentence triggers because we had him surrounded. demon. Going for Varklov, I think. Landing a little hit. Oh, knocked me away, but not away from the uh, main enemy. Alright, looking good. So, surviving friendly fighter has three or more upgrades. We've got two on the Briar Queen, I think. No, we've got three on the Briar Queen, so we'll get one for that. One fighter in your own territory. We'll get that at the end. And then the very end, we want everybody across. So yeah, let's go ahead and move. We'll move the Briar Queen up, and she'll take a nice whip attack from range. Got a crit, so you are done. Bye-bye. Yeah, I thought these guys would be a little tougher been able to really swarm them pretty effectively here. We've also gotten pretty good um, cards for victory points. Okay, well you're moving close, so we have the face of death. So if we roll a shield or a crit, you only, well you'll roll one less attack die. Okay, so you're gonna roll one less attack die. He still gets two, gets a hit, but I get two defenses because we have a bunch of people next to him. So very well protected. We're fine. So my activation... Can't get you in to get an attack. So how about... We just go to choke him out. Nope. <laughs> very much a failure. Even got a crit for the defense there. Even with all of that assistance, just could not help. And he can't do anything because he moved and attacked, which kind of cancels out whatever you can do. You can stand still and attack multiple times, but if you move and attack, you're kind of done. Alright, so we get the chosen champion. Score this end phase if each player... Oh, each player has at least one. Ah, should have been more careful about how I read stuff. Alright. Fine. Uh, we'll get rid of that, because there's no way you're getting anybody into my territory. So if we can draw something else, we can get. I mean, we're way ahead. We don't really need more victory points. This one keeps somebody from dying, right? Yes. This, if somebody dies, it can do some damage as they go down. Yeah, we'll hold on to those. Those are fine. He's not really getting much done here on the other side. I think mainly, like, this faction needs to do spells, and they can get a lot of victory points for casting spells. So I think I get to go first here. If we can, we'll just try to kill the little demon. What did we get, anyway? No enemy fighters holding objectives. That'll be fine. Scored an objective, play deploy, made an upgrade. Yeah, we just need to get everybody across the way as well. Upgrade. We have upgrades. Yeah. I'll go first. And I'm just going to have Briar Queen herself just try to whip this guy to death. Ooh, 
double crit. You're toast. Never even saw it coming. But he does turn into a weaker demon. So... Play Sadistic Strike on Varklov. And then I'll wait. Before my turn, we'll play that ploy. We'll hold off for now. What you gonna do, little demon? Oh, right. Let's use our face of death. Okay, one less die for you. Gets a crit, though. That's gonna land. I don't know how much damage you do. One. Trying to knock me back into a lethal hex tile. Look at that. Are you attacking again? How are you attacking again? Maybe you got something where you can attack everyone adjacent, but that wasn't adjacent, the Briar Queen. Okay. Well. So I need to get all three of you across. Yeah, let's go extra attack die. So you knocked me back to kind of that medium spot, which is not where I want to be. So, second, third, fourth, we get everybody across. So, Briar Queen. Move in deep. Make a whip action. Take out the last enemy. Hopefully. Uh, this one is not a hit. Okay, gets me a crit. That'll help. Should be the end for you. Yeah. It's the power of surrounding the enemies. Gives you a lot of bonuses. It's the risk of having lots of little low health guys is that they can help you a lot taking down enemies, but they're also potentially just victory point fodder for your enemies. Alright. I could use Varklov's ability. Nope, I can't. Yeah, this happened the last time, too. Can only make this action once per round. Well, I haven't done it this round. Did I move an attack? No, I don't have a symbol for that. I don't think I've done anything with Varklov. So maybe it's only once per battle instead of one per round. Let's just move across. turn. Probably nothing. Some of the factions can bring guys back from the dead, summon more guys, that kind of stuff. But that's about it. Um, I think for this faction. And let's move up. Park on an objective, because why not? So we have everybody across the line. And we turn. Nothing. Nothing. I mean, we're way ahead, but we'll get some more victory points here. So we get the Conquest one. We get Master of War. And we get As Nagash Commands. So 15, that's pretty good. I'm not sure what the maximum I've gotten for this uh, faction is. Probably right around there, 14, 15, something like that. Very nice. All right. Yeah, I thought these guys would be a bit tougher, put up more of a fight, but they were kind of a kickwalk there. All right, this has been more Warhammer Underworlds. I've been Disturbing Puppet. Thanks for coming by. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, have a good one.